Welcome to our news point. Both supporters and anti-Donald Trump protesters were caught on camera trampling a flag with the face of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis as they marched outside the Washington, D.C. courthouse demonstrated, where the former president was indicted on Thursday. Before we continue, please support us by clicking on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Whether protesting Trump's criminal charges or counter-protesting for prosecution, the protesters took turns trampling on the Republican presidential nominee's image while simultaneously accusing him of being a traitor and disloyal. Trump has repeatedly criticized his main rival in the race for the Republican nomination for the 2024 election, saying he himself is responsible for the governor's political rise. He supported DeSantis as Florida governor in 2017, but has since opposed the Republican nominee for running against him in the presidential primary. Trump has pleaded not guilty to four criminal charges relating to his alleged involvement in a conspiracy to fraudulently overturn the 2020 election results, which he has repeatedly claimed was rigged against him, although no evidence was found have been made to support your claims. Trump appeared before a federal court judge in Washington, D.C. two days after filing his last criminal complaint. Charged with conspiracy to defraud U.S., conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction and attempted obstruction of a governmental proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. Trump already faces criminal charges in New York related to allegations of secret cash payments ahead of the 2016 election, and another in Florida over misappropriation of classified documents found at his Mara Lake residence last summer. In both cases, Trump has denied wrongdoing. He pleaded not guilty at impeachment hearings in New York and Miami. We predicted it would sink quickly. It went down twice as fast as we thought, said one of the protesters outside the courthouse, wearing a red MAGA cap as he stood over the DeSantis facsimile and it held it up showed. He's a traitor, and that's all. He's out of here. DeSantis is gone. When asked why he thought that, the protester replied that the Florida governor was not loyal, but was forced into the primary by the establishment. Trump's inner circle has often portrayed him as an anti-establishment and critic of Republican leadership. As he stood by the flag with a counter-protester wearing an Arrest Trump t-shirt and a sign that read, the, the evidence to convict Trump is damning, said another supporter of the former president, Trump made desanctimonious an epithet Trump uses to describe the governor. Desanctimonious is beyond him. Step on Ron, says one anti-Trump protester, adding, traitors. He then tells close Trump supporters that they have some things in common about their views on DeSantis. Newsweek emailed the DeSantis campaign Friday, asking for comment. The disagreement over Trump's impeachment points to a broader debate over the criminal process. While some agree with the president's claims that they are part of a political witch hunt, Others see them as a necessary consequence of his behavior in office. United States Judge Moxila Upadhyaya has set August 28th as the next hearing date in the latest case where a tentative hearing date is set. His further trials are scheduled for March and May next year, although his campaign has tried to delay them until after the election. The various legal issues currently facing the prospective Republican nominee appear to be taking a toll on his campaign finances. Recent FEC filings show that a large portion of its funds go to attorneys. Thank for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.